I kind of want to make that my signature thing, the snap and shaka, but I actually got it from a friend. Um, so it's hard to claim it as mine, but I like putting it in my videos. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Davey Michaels, and today we are in Gary, Indiana, checking out an abandoned church called City Methodist Church. It's a very, very cool one. I'm actually super stoked for it. I've known about it for a while. It's been on my radar for a long time. And today's finally gonna be the day that we go explore it. So first things first, I would love it if you like the video and that you share it and comment. It really helps the analytics and everything. And so let's get the views up on this thing. And I'm really glad that you're here and I hope that you'll follow along. A few things you may wanna know about this church is one, that it was abandoned since 1975. And it had a pretty short church life, only about 50 years was it operating for. It was built in 1906 and in 1916, Dr. William Grant Seaman became the pastor. Back in the time, Gary, Indiana was known for its heavy drinking and brothels and the pastor wanted to introduce a larger church to affect the surrounding community. The entire building, which was eventually completed over 21 months and cost a total of $800,000, could seat about a thousand people. By 1929, the current pastor, William Seaman, was unpopular with his congregation. And eventually he, had, he moved to Ohio and the person that took his place was much more unpopular than he was. Due to financial struggles in the 1960s and 70s and a lot of the members moving out of Gary, Indiana, the church began to fall into really tough financial times. And eventually it went completely into decline and passed into the hands of Indiana University, which used the location for different things but has remained stagnant and very difficult to restore. A fire occurred later in the church and this made it almost impossible to completely restore. And so it sits vacant, a place where many, many urban explorers love to come and document and to not mess with the place. That's never what urban explorers are supposed to do. And so if you'll come with me and we'll go check out this place and I hope you'll enjoy it. Busted windows. Go in there. Let's do it. Holy crap. Yeah, that's safe. My mom and my girlfriend are not gonna like this one. balcony here. Get a shot of these windows. It's crazy. There's so many intricate details of this huge cathedral that it's super easy to miss someone's small masterpiece. I can't believe that with the thousands of people involved in the creation of this church, it would only be in use for like 50 years. 
I suppose these sort of abandoned landmarks in the world serve as a reminder of, to humans of how fleeting and fragile life is. This place is probably one of the coolest places I've ever been to. You gotta be really careful though and watch your step, as always. Check this out. Dang, that's so sick. World. I have no clue what room this is. Maybe it was a gymnasium or a theater. It's kind of like an abandoned theater. They already got steps right here for you to walk on. Yeah, I think this was a, an abandoned theater at one point. Got all this cloth. I have no clue why it's here. This cloth could have been like clothes for dress rehearsals or for the cloth for a curtain, for a closing curtain. It's neat, very scary though. Pretty cool, but I like graffiti. I think it's, I think it's neat, but not always recommended as far as activities go. But I mean, then again, here I am exploring a decently unstable building like that's the best activity you can choose for fun. <laughs> well, we got a basement, but I'm not going down there. But like right outside, we literally have a parking lot like right there. So again, I haven't I haven't seen any trespassing signs or anything like that. And all the fences and boards are kind of open. So I think this is like a relatively safe place to do some exploring. Seems like a lot of people do it here as well. <sighs> a lot of a lot of land to check out, honestly. A pretty big urbex place. Holes everywhere. If I'm looking at the camera, I might not be looking down to watch for nails, honestly. Ooh. Old light. Wow, that is one old light. Look at it. Look at all that pile of clothes. Just a huge pile. Just sitting there for no reason. Looks like we've got some stairs right there that are just broken off. Oh, this makes me nervous. Go under here. I love still seeing the, uh, the design and artistry left behind after all these ages. Look at this. Got an old um, fireplace still left here. Let's see, check that out. All right, well, this place was absolutely insane to explore. Honestly, I would give it five out of five stars just the architecture and the fact that it's still you know the columns are still intact it's amazing to me that we as people still continue to do stuff like that still continue to create beautiful cathedrals and stuff and I hope that we never really lose that you know I hope that we continue to create and make stuff and so that's part of why I really enjoy making videos is that uh, it's a means by which I can create something and so I hope I encourage you as well to create something it doesn't have to be videography or film but I just wanna you know, be a, a friendly encouragement to you to get out there, to explore, to be creative, to have fun, to be adventurous, not to be afraid, don't live your life in fear. And so I don't even know what I'm doing, why I'm preaching that right now. But uh, anyway, I just really appreciate you watching my video and I hope that you'll subscribe and keep following along with the journey. This isn't even cl anywhere close to being done. I think I'll make videos until I'm dead. And so I hope that you'll subscribe and follow me along. So thank you so much. This is Davey Michaels signing out.